Hello and welcome. Hi viewers. Uh, I hope you are doing enjoying uh, studying Excel. And today we will discuss borders in Excel. So you can see we have a table. And uh, for applying borders, first we need to uh, unclear all the borders. We will need to clear all the borders from here. And we will just go to this font sections and from here we will select no border so here as you can see there's no borders in this in this sheet so we want to apply the border so how it is done let's see first we will click the cells merge cell merge and center and we're going to apply border on this very cell so we'll click on it and go to the former cells the other way is you can just click it and go to the for the section right from here from the top from here I want to select the thick box border so I'll click it so you can see it is applied likewise if I want to uh, apply border over here but in a different way then I'll click right click on it and go to the for uh, go to the go to the border option go to the format cells and from here I will select the border section. So there are multiple tabs are available and we'll select the border one and from here I will have a different color like red one I'll select a purple one so from here and I will select this border and we'll apply one by one on all the sides of the cell and click the OK button so you will see that the border has been applied in a different color and if I select all the headings of uh, this table and right click on it and go to the format cells and from the border section I will click and choose a different color like I will select uh, a green one over here and will like to apply a dotted one this one on the multiple cells so viewers you can see that uh, it is applied not on the like if I select this way it applies on each and every session but if I select this cross but I don't need it let's see what happens and I will select it and apply all this way so you can see that it can also be applied uh, the borders can also be applied like in the crossed way but since I don't need it so I will uh, go to the format cells and will unselect the crossed borders so I don't need them and I will select a different color like I'm going to select over here this color dark red and click the OK button so as you can see that this way we can apply a different dotted border to all the cells likewise if you want to apply uh, borders to all the columns and cells you can just click this is the other way you can click go to the font section and from here I will select the double border at the border so you can see that the double border has been applied at the border and if I want to select a single all borders to all the cells of this table then I will just select it and you can see that there's enough light to all the cells so the other topic I want to discuss and share with you over here today is the comments that how can we apply comments in Microsoft Excel like uh, if you see this this is the heading of the month and it contains eight different months starting from right from January till August so I will just right click on it and we'll go to the insert comment and right over here I will type months column this is the heading and I will type starting from Jan till August that's all and click anywhere anywhere on the sheet and now the comment has been applied and if I go to the this section and just drag the mouse over it then we can see the comment which has been applied on it 
likewise if i want to uh calculate uh if i, I want to this is a, this is a comment which has already been added by me so i just want to delete it and so now i can just right click on this cell and click the delete comment option so the comment has been deleted uh likewise is a I want to add one more comment for uh, this column of olds then I will click on it right click on it and go to the insert comment click on it and I will type over here column containing sales figures of olds for the month of Jan till August and then we'll click anywhere on the sheet now if I drag the mouse over it then you can see that it will show you the column containing the same comment I have just added that the column containing sales figures of oats for the months of Jan till August it's very simple so I hope you find this uh, video helpful and thanks for watching and that's all.